With the level of competition rising in the Premier League each season, the clubs have started investing heavily on players during the summer transfer window to put forward their best team right from the start of the season. The 21-22 season has been no different. From the Manchester clubs to Chelsea to Aston Villa, the English sides went on a splurge to strengthen their squads. But it's not every time that these big money signings work out in favour of the clubs. And today we look at the top five Premier League flops of the 21-22 season. In number five, Aston Villa's Leon Bailey. The 23-year-old Jamaican winger completed his move from Bayer Leverkusen to Aston Villa during the summer transfer window. Bailey had scored a total of 39 goals and assisted 22 times in three and a half seasons for Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. Then manager Dean Smith said he was looking forward to Bailey showing his skills and talents in the Premier League. But the Jamaican had a rocky start to his Aston Villa career, involving only three goal contributions. He struggled with a muscle injury. This recurring injury has ruled him out of action until after Christmas. Though the current manager, Steven Gerrard, is optimistic about the winger's return to action, it's certainly doubtful that the £30 million man will be at his personal best for the Premier League side. In number four, Chelsea's Saul Niguez. The Spaniard was signed for a season-long loan deal at Chelsea on the deadline, and the expectations were high for the Atletico Madrid midfielder when he arrived at Stamford Bridge. He has tough competition in the Chelsea midfield with the likes of Conte, Jorginho, Kovacic, Loftus cheek and even Barclay, sadly making him the sixth choice for Thomas Tuchel. The Chelsea manager has clearly mentioned that Saul has to earn his place in the starting 11 and no special treatment would be given to any player. In his 11 appearances for the Blues, he has zero goal contributions. As per Marker, Saul himself accepted that his move to Stamford Bridge was a mistake. The reports continue to say he's quite happy with his situation at Chelsea and it will further help improve his game. In number three, Manchester City's Jack Grealish. This £100 million move for the Aston Villa midfielder was Manchester City's most expensive signing ever. With a total of 32 goals and 41 assists, Jack Grealish was a consistent player for Aston Villa, showing rare talent and possessing natural flair to his game. But fast forward to January 2022, price tag pressure has definitely not worked in his favour, with the Englishman scoring and assisting only two goals from his 12 league starts. With the kind of benchmark set by Manchester City players, Grealish has not really lived up to expectations of Pep Guardiola's team, who are currently on top of the Premier League table. Number two, Romelo Lukaku to Chelsea. Lukaku completed a mammoth £97 million transfer for an exciting second stint at Stamford Bridge. Fresh from a league title winning season, Lukaku had scored 47 goals in his 72 appearances for Inter. Big Rom had a dream start to his return to the Premier League by scoring four goals in his first four matches. But his form came to a halt due to injuries and illness, making him miss one whole month of action. Though he scored two goals in two games post-Christmas, his controversial interview with Sky Italia didn't go down well with the German manager, signalling a rift between the two. He was also asked to issue a public apology for the same. Number one, Jadon Sancho to Manchester United. Man United signed the 21-year-old winger for £73 million from Borussia Dortmund, ending an 18-month-long transfer saga. Sancho had scored a total of 43 goals and assisted 45 times for Borussia Dortmund, making him one of the most talked about young players in world football. Apart from his goal contributions, Sancho, who was among the top 10 best dribblers in the 2021 season, currently has a meagre average of just 2.8 dribbles per game. With the return of Cristiano Ronaldo to the team, Sancho had to stay patient and work on his game for his starts as there was a shift in the attention. But things have not been improving for the former Dortmund star as he has only scored two goals in 23 appearances and has yet to register an assist for his current team. And that was our list. Let our team know your biggest flops by dropping a comment and while you're at it, hit the subscribe button so you keep receiving more exciting content from Sportskeeda Football.